Ladies and gentlemen, oh, forgot the thing. Welcome back to the podcast. Thank you. Thank you. It it was a rough day yesterday, man. Unless you were uh, unless you were one of those riding up the the big Coinbase pumpers, you, then you had a good day. Uh, for the rest of us, lugging it out, you know, it was kind of slim pickings. The market has been it's been moving up nicely, even if you don't see the steady gains taking place across the board. If you didn't notice them, it's probably because of the massive gains on select tokens and those you absolutely do notice. 60%, 80%, 100% plus percent on some of these. They tend to really overshadow the rest of the market and play nicely into the get rich in crypto fallacies we all know and love. I stay far away from these uh, unless I'm already in them before it happens. However... As I mentioned in the video yesterday, they are sort of breaking the rules lately in that they are not only going up, they keep going up. 30% 30, uh, 30 used to be a big thing. Now it's Tuesday, and it's not even the one at the top. Sort of a uh, funny story, and I, I'm going to sidebar this just a bit. Friend of mine, zero interest in crypto, none. I got her on Coinbase a while ago for the free money. Her balance right now is just a tad under $800, and she hasn't put in a cent. Just the free dosh for the quizzes and riding the pumps. Six months ago, this wouldn't have worked, but welcome to the era of just complete blowouts. That's uh, not the purpose of this video today, but it's fun, and I did want to mention it. Purpose of this video today is a bit of a reality check and to get back to some very basic fundamentals and tools at your disposal that folks still aren't using or, you know what, don't know what they are. If you were actively following the market yesterday, you saw Bitcoin crushing it and carrying the market with it. Uh, rising tide lifts all boats, and like it or not, Bitcoin is the tide. I don't like it. <laughs> I, I Speculative. With all of the institutional money pouring into uh, into Bitcoin, I consider it more volatile than ever, and we got a taste of that yesterday. It's around two or three in the afternoon. Every single stop limit order I had triggered and sold, all of them at once. So clearly, alarm bells go off. Check Bitcoin; it's dumping and carrying the market down with it violently. Uh, I was in seven trades at the time. And everything triggered and filled. Nothing was immune. This was an absolute shot across the bow and a reminder that Bitcoin is what drives the market. And you need to remember that if it plummets, and we have seen this over and over this year, it takes everything with it. So what can we do about that? Normally, I would say diversify. And you know what? I still say that even though on the power dumps, it really doesn't matter but still is a very good idea not to have all your eggs in a single basket. But one of the best things we can do, and it's, uh, it's pretty critical if you're one that is playing the short game, is stop limit orders. Typically, you are not playing short for massive gains. You are playing short for steady gains. Something's going up. Sniff around. Find it. Get some money in there. But as you are not playing for massive gains you are not or you know what you should not be risking big losses on it if the top end of my short investment is 15 percent, i am not going to risk 20 percent to get it i will risk five percent and that's it stop limits are your friend for this so what i i do specifically and you know what let's pretend i'm buying ren at a dollar nice round number ren is a fairly steady coin not a ton of variance in it. So I am comfortable with these buys. I buy $5,000 worth of Ren at a buck. My out point on Ren will be $1.10 on the high side and 95 cents on the low side, 5%. That's all I am gonna risk to get the 10%. So after my purchase, my next step is setting my stop limit, which will be 95.5 stop price and a 95 cent limit price. This actually does uh, one very big thing, and yesterday was a prime example. It insulates you from those big flash dumps. Like it or not, and we discussed it above, you can be in an excellent token with perfect fundamentals and an ideal use case. 
but it listens to Bitcoin the same as everything else. And when Bitcoin goes, as it did yesterday, everything is coming with it. But for you, my friend, your diligence paid off because your trigger hit and filled. So even though you did lose, you didn't lose as much as you could have. You have lots, plenty, practically all of your remaining capital. So when it does bottom out, you're primed for your buyback. And what you bought for a buck, you can now buy for 80 cents or less. You need to protect your money, manage your risk, and stop limit orders is how you do that. Now, it isn't a guarantee, all right? Nothing is. If it really dumps, your orders can easily get jumped. Stop limits only work if someone is buying what you're selling. So you should keep them fairly close to the spot price if possible. If you're not setting your stop limits 10% uh, below, you... Uh, if you're if you're putting them in right around there, then you have a real good chance of getting jumped. Uh, if it falls that far, that fast, there's a reason, and you should have been out already. Experience is going to teach you where you should be. You start to get a feel for it. Just uh, just keep in mind that it is all about managing risk. If you are going to be a trader, use all of the tools at your disposal, and stop limit orders should be right at the top of the list. If you're not familiar with them, we have videos in the members section. You just saw why they are so important yesterday. I can't illustrate it any better than that. Uh, our buybacks yesterday after the uh, after the fall off were Phantom, Bat, and Mana. We didn't catch them uh, all of them at the very bottom, but close enough to recover losses and actually be in the green for the day. Uh, Half the profits, as always, straight into AMP, straight into VeChain, straight into Secret Network. OPM is the way to grow your longs. You might have heard me mention that from time to time. So this was a little 101 today. Uh, we haven't done this on the public channel, but thought it would be uh, fun to experiment, see if you guys enjoy these or not. We are continuing to expand the channel's content, and I'm not sure if fundamentals will be well-received or not, but figure it was worth a try. If it's a hit, we will start plugging away a bit on what we look for in a short investment, what flags go up, how to determine the in and out price. Uh, if you would like to see more of that, leave a comment and we are happy to oblige. And that's it for this one, guys. So, uh, yeah, fundamentals. They, uh, they apply. doesn't matter the market. Until next time, please be safe. Please be smart with your money. We got a live stream tonight. Hope to see you there. That's it.